Peace. What's going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk some Bible manifestation tips using the verse and chapter of Isaiah 45 and 7. And so let's read it. It says, I form the light and I create the darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, first of all, when we read this passage, the first thing that stands out to me is that it is saying that there's only one force. There's only one God. There's only one consciousness that is creating all these things. Whether it be the light in our lives, the darkness in our lives, the peace in our lives, the evil in our lives, it specifically makes it very clear that I, the Lord, do all these things. Now, what wisdom can we extract from this? What can we pull from this passage and infuse it into our lives so that we can manifest the lives that we say that we want to have? So that we can amplify our prayer lives and not be praying in vain for things to never show up or to appear. Well, if we know that God is within us, it tells us this all throughout scripture that Christ in us is the hope of glory, that the kingdom of heaven is within us. So that means this God force, this consciousness is dwelling within us. So that means what? That operating power that is dwelling within us is either creating light or creating darkness. It's either creating peace or it's creating evil or woe. And so we have to examine ourselves primarily what we're thinking and what we're feeling in our hearts to come up with a understanding of why things are either working or not working for us in our lives. We have to monitor the way that we think about people, the way that we think about our circumstances. We have to eliminate as many negative ruminating thoughts as we possibly can, because that's where the evil, that's where the woe is being generated and created. And it appears objectively in our world, in our circumstances, in the scenarios that we uh, come into in our day-to-day -day experience. We also have to do what? We have to be very careful about the things that we speak and say out of our mouths. Why? Because the things that we say and speak from our mouths are constantly weaving a web of reality for us to experience at a later time. So this goes back to what? What are the patterns in our mind that we think about ourselves, that we think about other people? Because these patterns are either setting up the peace, the creativity, the abundance, or they creating the lack, the woe, and the pain. But it's not another. It's not another source. It's not another God. It's your own consciousness that is determining what shows up on the screen of space called reality in your life. And so if your prayers aren't being answered nine times out of ten, you're running a interference pattern on yourself. By what? By way of what you think frequently. Because whatever you think the most, whatever you feel the most, is going to be the victor. So you can say or pray some things in a moment in time. But if you don't really feel that way, if you don't really see that image in your mind, then you're going to have a very difficult time manifesting that from your prayer life. So just be mindful moving forward that there aren't two entities. It's only you and you have a choice on which side of the ledger that you're going to activate the God force, the God consciousness, the Christ consciousness within you. I hope this helps and I hope you apply this message. Join my ministry. Join my membership today. Thank you.